everybody. Happy Friday. It is time for Facebook Friday once again. Yay. It comes quick. Um, this week we are using the Planted Paradise stamp set. And I thought I sent it out, but maybe I didn't. It's probably over there on one of those trays. This is a stamp set that I did not expect to fall in love with. And let me tell you, when I started making these projects, I love it. Um, it's one of our reversible stamps, which is like the pets and more that we did last week. It has a detailed image on one side, and then you can flip it over and stamp kind of the shadow image around it. Hi, Judy. How are you? Um, and it's really fun. Now, I find that you don't really need the shadow image very much with these because, um, I mean, they're pretty detailed and solid, I thought, but it gives you that option. Um, you can also use them, the shadow part, to just make like um, like polka dot cardstock or, you know, just abstract shapes. So it's really neat. I didn't expect to love it as much as I did. And I am using the Nature Sweetness paper, which we're going to look at. I totally had counted that paper out for me. I didn't think it was for me. And then I started using it. I was like, oh my gosh, why did I wait so long? It is gorgeous too. So anyhow, let me run through some things to tell you. Um, yesterday, well, no, what is today? The fifth already? Monday, a new all-star tutorial PDF came out and it just so happens to feature the nature sweetness um, suite. I missed our blog hop it was yesterday or day before and I totally spaced and missed it. So I didn't do a blog hot post this month, but it is in my PDF store. Um, it's 12 video tutorials all featuring, let's see if I can show you, all featuring the nature's sweetness. Um, and what I found interesting about this month's projects is that, you know, in the catalog, everything is gold and uh, like pecan pie. But in here, uh, some people use different colors, which makes the stamp set look totally different. You know, I get like um, plugged into what's in the catalog and then I have a hard time thinking outside of what they show. And then I see people using it with different colors and different papers and it's just makes, it has a whole different look. So if you're interested in this, um, like that one, blue. If you're interested in this PDF, I give it to everyone who shops with me for free. Anybody who spends over $50, look at that one. And um, you get it for free. I email them out about every couple of weeks. I pull up everybody who's ordered and mail them out, email them out. Um, they're video tutorials. There's 12 of them and they're all designed by different demonstrators. So I just have one project in here, which is kind of cool. You get to see different um, styles and techniques. My project this month, oh, I have one, this one sitting right here, um, is a long and skinny, kind of like a jewelry gift box. Um, and it uses that paper. Look at that paper. We're going to use that paper today. Uh, I mean, I'm telling you, I missed out. I should have been using, I should have used this for a class. It's so gorgeous. So anyhow, Club Create, we did talk about doing this for Club Create and I changed my mind. Um, but now I see what all the fuss is about. This paper is just beautiful. So anyway, that PDF is in my PDF store. It's linked on today's blog post. Did it go up? Did you guys check? I just finished it. So it should hopefully have gone up. Um, so you can get it for $15 in my PDF store, or you can earn it for free by spending $50 with me this month. Either way. Okay. So that is that. Um, the last chance products for these two catalogs you guys products have already sold out um the last chance list came out in march but the discounts don't take effect until april 9th um and so you know i told you guys last week you have to like decide how bad do i want this product that's gonna retire do i want it so bad that i better get it before it's sold out and i don't i'm not gonna worry about the discount or do I hold out hope that it'll stay in stock and I wait for the discount? Well, a lot of things have sold out, including my stamp set, Taco Fiesta, it's gone. Um, sold out quickly, which, you know, made me feel good. I'm sad that it's gone, but you know, it had a good life. <laughs> I hope lots of you have it and we'll use it for years to come, I'm sure. Um, but other things that have sold out are uh, the Thoughtful Expression dies, which were extremely popular. I told you guys last week I'd heard that they were coming back. I was wrong. They are now on the discontinued list. They're gone. Um, what else? I, on the low inventory side are all the in-color reinkers. 
Um, so if you haven't gotten the in color reinkers for the five colors that are retiring, make sure you get those. Um, but the discounts do take effect on the 9th, which is Tuesday. So I'll send you all an email to remind you of um, when that goes to, into effect. And I expect things to start really selling out after that. Uh, but the list was like really long of the things that I've already sold out. I was surprised. Okay, I'm going to flip you guys around. I have a new bookcase and it barely fit in this um, holder. I was afraid it was going to break my phone, um, which surprised me too because the holder itself or the case itself is much thinner and smaller. Okay, hold on. I forgot to pull you guys up on Facebook. That's why I was like, why can't I see now? Because I forgot to pull you guys up. Hold on, let me see. Let me make sure the volume isn't up. You guys, we have guys here working on our yard. You know, I've told y'all our yard is like primitive. Our yard, I mean, this this land out here is on the border of a state park, so it's very um, undeveloped. And so we have guys out here cleaning it up, working on it. So if you hear machinery, I apologize. I, I don't think, I think they're all done over here. I think they're in the backyard now, but just, just so you know, if you hear some things, yesterday I was filming a video and my husband's truck went by and his truck sounds like an animal. It's so loud. I hate it. And I was like, oh, geez. So if you guys ever hear that in my videos, just know it's my husband and his truck. Okay. Club Create, you guys. Um, this month I am working ahead. I'm going to be gone the whole last week of this month. Um, actually, no, not the last week. So like, I guess really more the first week of May. Anyhow, I'm working way ahead because I'm going to Mexico with Stampin' Up. Um, and so Club Create Kit, you guys, um, it's almost completely done. Um, cut the cutting and sorting. Now you have two days left to uh, join Club Create if you want this month's kit. It's the Beach Day Suite, or Beach Day Bundle. There is no suite. Beach Day Bundle. This is a carryover set. It will be in the annual catalog and it is so good. If you do any summer scrapbooking or um, summer parties or beach or whatever. Um, this is a great set to have. I love the little surfboards especially. But anyway, if you want in on this kit, it's $45. It includes about $25 in new product. Um, they look like this. When I mean new product, I mean like, like this kit, they got a whole pack of designer series paper, half a pack of the dots, and a whole pack of the baker's twine. Um, for this month's kit, they're gonna get a whole bolt of ribbon, a pack of sequins, and a quarter pack of designer series paper. So the idea is that you have enough, you have plenty to make your projects, and then you've got a lot left over to make more projects. Um, this kit will ship, I usually say the 21st, but my goal is to have it in the mail next Friday, which is the 12th. Um, which is like a whole, like nine days early this month. Um, so if you want to subscribe to Club Create, Sunday is the very last day um, to subscribe, okay? And subscribe just means that, well, I mean, you know what a subscription is, but that doesn't mean that you have to stay. You can subscribe for one month, you could subscribe, you could stay for three months, whatever you want. But if you stay for six months, I send you a $25 product credit um, your sixth month, you let me know what you want and I order it. Um, I was just filling uh, an order this morning with all of the people who are getting their April Club Create um, rewards. So it's fun if you stay six months and then you get, um, you know, some fun projects too. Um, it also has a PDF and a video. The video is like always like between 30 and 45 minutes. I go through every project and I don't do that on my classes. I just do that for club. Hi, Chris. Um, this is next month's Club Create, so the, the subscription period for this one will start on Monday. I just wanted to give you guys a sneak peek. It's a set of cards using um, a new product that will be available May 1st called Country Flowers. Um, and I had fun. We're going to make some rust today. Um, and I had fun making these rusty buckets and rusty teapots. Um, so... If you like that kind of stuff, you'll love this kit. Um, this is May's kit. You'll have four cards and a card, either a holder for them or, you know, like a gift box that you can give them in. Um, but like I said, I'll give you more details on this next Friday. The subscription period for that will open on Monday and hopefully I'll have my PDF up by Monday as well for those of you that want the PDF slash video only, okay? All right, so that is that. Let's see what else we have. Oh, um, my, this is what I'm gonna start working on 
when I'm done with getting Club Create done. done. This is my April class to go. It features the Kid Around adorable bundle. And it's a fundraiser for the Alzheimer's Association. I shared with you guys last week that my dad has Alzheimer's. It's been brutal for my mom, for my brother and I, um, for my kids. It's just a horrible disease. Many of you in the last week have sent me emails sharing about your experiences. Um, so I know that you either have a family member or you know someone who does, who suffers from this disease. And so every year I like to do a fundraiser and I just turn around and donate all the um, profit that I make off this class to the Alzheimer's Association. And they just sent me something in the mail. I think they're doing like a matching in April. So if I, whatever I donate, they'll match it. I think that's what that envelope over there sitting on my desk says. Um, but anyway, if you want this class to go, there are four options. Um, it's six cards. You're going to get um, a full pack of the 12 by 12 paper. I'm going to ship it 12 by 12. I've ordered special envelopes to ship it so that it's not cut because you're going to want to cut some of these cute babies out. They're just so cute. We call that the stink face. My, my youngest, she was good at making that stink face. Um, six cards, full pack of paper, full bolts of linen thread, full pack of gems. You can get it with the bundle. If you don't already have the bundle, you do need the stamps and dies to make these projects. Um, I don't ever send stamped images. That's your job. Um, but I will send you card, scored card bases, uh, circles, squares, um, labels, anything like that. Um, what was I saying? If you buy option number one that includes the bundle, you're actually getting the paper for free. I've subtracted that from the cost of the class. Option two is for those of you that already have that, you will need it. So don't order option two if you don't have that because then you'll be like, uh, I can't make these. Um, of course, you could always substitute what you have. And I think you could probably cut out the kids instead of stamping them if that's what you wanted to do. Um, you know, I love to color, so I like the, the colored kids. Um, but, you know, hey, whatever you want to do. Um, so that's option two. You will get the full 12 by 12 paper. Um, the gems, the linen thread. Option three is PDF only. It's already in my PDF store. $15, six card tutorials in there. And then option four is for my downline. My first level downline gets my kits, my class kits at a discount, $25. Um, by the way, you guys, I haven't shared the starter kit in a while. Just want to remind you that the starter kit deal is always a good deal. And you get to be part of my team when you buy the starter kit, which then means you get to buy my class kit at a discount and get my PDFs for free. Just FYI. Um, and this month, if you buy the starter kit, you can actually order from our pre-order from the new catalog. So, you know, it's a good month to buy the starter kit. If you have questions about that, let me know. There's a link at the top of my blog that says join, but you can also email me. Um, but anyway, that's this. I have a deadline on this um, next, no, no, the 19th, so two weeks from today. However, because I'm going out of town, I'm going to be working on things early, and I do worry about the paper selling out. So if the paper sells out before the deadline, then I have to close registration because you have to have the paper to make the cards. Okay, so that's that. Um, if you need that link, you have to email me for the registration link. I cannot put those links on um, social media or my blog. And hey, those of you that report me to compliance, I don't post those on my blog or Facebook. Just letting you know, I always say that. You have to email me for the link, right? I mean, how, how many times have I said, you have to email me for the link? <laughs> I know the rules and I only send those links through Facebook. I mean, through email, through email. Um, so anyway, if you want the link, just send me an email and say, hey, send me the link. That's all you have to write and I will send it to you. Um, okay, let's talk about In Color Club real quick. We've got some of the most gorgeous in colors coming um, in this new catalog. They may be some of my all time favorites. And um, we're gonna do uh, in color club. This, this year, will, it'll be different than past in color clubs. If you were part of my new color club this last fall, that's what it's gonna be like. It's gonna have two projects in it, um, some card bases. Uh, you'll get the ink, the Stampin' Blends, ribbon, the embellishments, paper, and then tutorials um, each month. Um, that 
In Color Club will also qualify you to get the all-star tutorial PDF free every month as well. Um, but details on this are coming next week. I have it all written out, it's all planned. I just haven't typed it up and published it. So if you are waiting for the In Color Club, details, watch for them maybe Tuesday on my blog and I'll put it on Facebook as well, okay? Um, and I think we're gonna do a Facebook Friday. Boy, can you guys hear that airplane? It's very low. Um, I think we're going to, I leave the 27th to go to Mexico and we're going to do an in color Facebook Friday, either the 26th or the 19th. I'm not sure, but we got, we got to play with these in colors so you guys can see how beautiful they are. All right. One more thing I want to tell you, and then we are ready to go. Um, I have, I still have several paper pumpkin kits. If you are in need of a paper pumpkin kit from March, I have several um, extras. I order these. I always say there's always an email from someone that says, my credit card didn't go through, so I didn't get my um, paper pumpkin kit this month. It happens to all of us, right? We've all had a card that's been compromised or a card that's you know expired and we forgot. Um, so I always have extras just in case. Um, this is the kit. It's beautiful. It's called memorable meadows and it coordinates with some of our online exclusive products but those card bases are beautiful somebody hand painted that an artist for stampin up hand painted these so um, you can wow your friends and make them think that look i hand painted those um, but it also came with an extra stamp set this month because it's the anniversary month so if you're interested in a paper pumpkin kit let me know just email me please um, the envelopes are cute too okay that is that did you guys have a good Easter? Was it Easter last weekend? It was, right? I mean, I can't remember. It's been a crazy week. My daughter's birthday, Easter. Yeah, that was last week. My uh, oldest daughter was home. Boy, whew. I hope you had a good time. Hey, are any of you up north in the northeast? Did you feel the earthquake? You guys know I'm a science nerd. I'm a weather nerd. Although that's not really weather, but it does qualify. If you felt the earthquake, tell me. Tell me in the, in the comments because I want to know. I want to feel an earthquake someday. I don't want to be in a scary earthquake, but I do want to feel an earthquake. We don't have them down here. Well, well, we really don't. But you know, the fracking and all that has caused earthquakes close to us. But we here where I live have never had an earthquake. I know my California friends are like, oh girl, what are you saying? But I mean, I'd, I'd like to at least feel it, like a, one that doesn't hurt anybody. Hey, Gail, thanks for asking. She's asking if my daughter's artwork won. We don't know yet. It's still open. She hasn't, well, at least she hasn't told me. I'm sure she would tell me, but we don't know. Thanks for asking, though. Thanks for asking. I feel like she's going to win. You guys are probably going to be the ones that push her over the, the winning. They're going to be like, five million votes. How did she get this many votes? <laughs> she's going to say, my mom's stamping friends helped me. Um, anyways, okay, Facebook Friday, let's get to it. Um, um, you're on a fault line, Joan. Ooh, not in the earthquake area, but I live in Mid-Ohio Valley, and we have severe flooding. Ooh, Rhonda, I did see that too. Now, flooding scares the you-know-what out of me. We have um, flooding here. You know, we are feast or famine here. We either have massive bad flooding or a drought for like five years. Um, yeah, so, yeah, they are scary, right? Yeah, Wendy, I know. I want to be in one but know that everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> they said this one lasted like 30 to 45 seconds, which really feels like a long time. Um, if you guys haven't watched the news, there was an earthquake this morning up in New Jersey and it was, uh, what, are they, what are they saying, a 4.9, which they say up there is a big deal. It's a big deal. No, I don't wanna be in one. I don't, I know, I probably shouldn't say that. What, I, what scares me the most are tornadoes and it's because I've seen two tornadoes, not been in them, but been, in the area and I could see them and they scare me half to death. Um, I guess it's what you know, you know, what you, what you know. Um, what happened with Ellie's pregnant cat? Oh my God, Carla, that's so funny that you asked me that. The cat had the babies while over spring break or something. And when Ellie came back from spring break, the cat was not pregnant anymore. And I said, um, my daughter is in college, you guys. She has a stray cat that she wants to claim as her own and it was pregnant. I was like, girl, do not claim that cat. Um, but it, I said, does it look like it's nursing? And she said, no. So we don't know what happened to the, to the kittens, but the cat is back. The cat is definitely back. You know, those spicy cats that live on the streets, they have a, they have an interesting life, don't they? Um, okay. Planted paradise, you guys. Um, 
that's what we're going to do today. See, I could just sit here and read comments and talk to you guys. I get very distracted. Um, really, Patty, Wonder Works in Orlando. Okay, I would like to do that. I would like to know that, and then that would be safe. You're kidding, Patty. So Patty says there was also one in Northern California last night that was the same, 4.8. And, and they're not talking about it because in California, you guys are like expert earthquakers. No problem, right? 4.8, nothing. But in New York, they're all freaking out. Funny. Ooh, Christine, 8.0. I don't remember that. Ooh, scary. Okay. If you've never joined me for Facebook Friday before, I, I pick one product, do three projects. There's a free PDF over on my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com. It has all the um, products that I'm using as well as the measurements, okay? Um, I am using one thing that is not available anymore, I believe, something that sold out. Maybe not. Maybe I was thinking it was the bow punch. I can't remember. If we get to it and I remember, I'll tell you. Um, also, if you like these projects, you can get them for free. I send them as a little, like, like a kit, like a class kit, um, free with a, an order of $35 or more using this host code. And the deadline for that is Monday at midnight. I cut them on Tuesday, ship them on Wednesday. Um, so you'll get them pretty quickly. Um, you can order anything you want. I don't really care what you order. As long as it meets that $35 minimum threshold, uses the host code, um, and it's by Monday at midnight, I will send you the project. And they come in a little kit like this. You will need the stamps. I don't do any pre-stamping, but I will send you all the bits and pieces that you need, right? Um, here are some of our past kits that we've done. You can see I send all the little bits and pieces. Sometimes every now and then I have to substitute something um, because I don't have time to order it if I, if I with a turnaround that fast and I run out of, you know, the ribbon or the paper or whatever. But for the most part, it's all exactly the same. Um, the other part of Facebook Friday is a prize. Donna Cochran, you are the winner of the hot air balloon. Thank you for sharing my video last week. Donna, I do have your mailing address unless you've moved. I will wait until Monday. If I don't hear from you, I will mail it. Thank you for... Um, for sharing. So this week I picked wild ferns. I haven't used this one, um, but I figured it kind of goes with our plant theme. So um, if you share the video either on Facebook or on YouTube, you'll be entered to win next week, the wild ferns. And next week we are doing the cutest cows, by the way. I told you we do cutest cows and planted paradise. So this, this week we're doing the plants, next week it's the cows. Okay, let me get all my things. Hold on just a second. Before we start, we have to take a look at this paper. The star of this Facebook Friday is the stamp set. However, the paper rose up to be a secondary star. Sorry, I had to get a drink. Um, this paper, I will tell you truthfully when I saw it, I was like, mm, not for me, not really my cup of tea, this paper. Um, I, you know, eh, it just wasn't for me. Well, then this week, of course, I do like a grid, right? You guys know I like a grid and a gingham. So this week I was like, well, let me, let me just start playing with it, with this, because I thought that would go good with our plants. And then I used it on all three of our projects today. Um, I love it. Why did I wait? Some of you are like, duh, hello. Um, this, I like this piece too. Um, this is a specialty paper, which means it has gold foil on, on one side of each sheet. It's got some foiling. So you'll see that too. And look, I love a notebook paper too. Um, so it's a little more expensive, but just when you see the price, you'll know it's because it has that foil in it. Okay, so that's the paper we're using on all three of our projects today. So let me move this out of the way. It's uh, 12 by 12, and you should add it to your order. <laughs> you should add it to your order. Okay, we're going to make this first card. We're going to make the hanging plant, which is my favorite part of the project. And I made an individual recording yesterday of this. And now that I'm looking in the video, you really can't tell the difference. This is my original, and this is the one that I did yesterday. This one is Cajun Craze, and this one is Copper Clay. Now in person, I can tell a difference, but really on my video, I cannot tell a difference. Can you guys tell a difference? I, I mean, I can't, so I don't know. Let me see, what, whatever I have on top, we'll use Cajun Craze. Um, okay, now here, listen, listen guys. I know some of you do not like to fussy cut, 
and you know that I do like to fussy cut. So unfortunately this week, there's a lot of fussy cutting. So please don't hate me, my fussy cutting friends that do not like fussy cutting. It's worth it, okay? Um, so you guys can tell they're a little bit different. Yeah, the Cajun Craze I, is, is brighter. It's exactly right, Judy, that's exactly right, yep. Okay, so lots of stamping. The first thing we're gonna do is stamp that big pot. And because it's a photopolymer stamp and because it's large, sometimes when you stamp on a hard surface like your table, it'll get kind of like a, like a bubble here and it won't, um, it feels like I need to clean that. It won't stamp very well. So what I always recommend with these photopolymers is to get a, a mat, some kind of like a piercing mat or a fun foam mat and put it under your paper and it will make a huge difference. Another problem you might run into, this is Cajun craze. Another problem you might run into is if your ink pad is too juicy, it will, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. It will cause the color to bleed in and your stamp won't be very detailed. So the solution to that is to take your bone folder and just scrape some of the ink. Let me see where my bone folder is. I mean, I always use my bone folder. You could use a spoon or something else if you wanted. And I just kind of scrape it down like that and it kind of um, creates a, a less juicy area for your, your stamps and that will help if you're having that problem. Okay, so one, two, three of these in Mossy Meadow. I really like this color combination a lot. And I know there are some Cajun Craze haters out there, but come on, it's so cool with this, this combo. Now I'm not gonna cut all of these out, I'm prepared. I, I sat in front of the Astros game the other night and did all the cutting ahead of time. But for those of you that are new here, or you just need a review, here are my fussy cutting tips, okay? The first tip is you have to have paper snips. These are Stampin' Up's little paper snips and you need them. And then the next thing is you're gonna stay on the outside of the image. You're gonna leave like a little white cloud or a white border around the edge as you go. The reason you do this is because any of your like jagged or, or you know crooked cuts won't be seen. The eye is only gonna see the edge of the image. Next, my next tip is to stay right in the middle of your blade, all right? Don't go all the way down to that because then that creates kind of a, you know, like a, a crooked, like a little jag. Um, and then the last tip is to uh, don't turn your scissors, turn your paper, okay? So those are my tips. My other tip would be to just practice. Stamp a whole bunch and just sit there in front of the movie, in front of a TV, and just stamp, I mean, uh, cut, fuzzy cut. You'll find it, I think, the more you do it, the less you'll hate it, for those of you that hate it. <laughs> some of us like it. All right, now, another thing that I notice with sometimes with your photopolymers is that I get them on my block and then they are crooked. So if you'll lay it down on your table like that, and then pick it up with your block. Usually it's straight. This is a um, crumb cake postage rectangle. And I'm gonna take my little chain here and I'm just gonna stamp, actually, no, let's not start with that. Let's start with a circle, the little circle right there because that will guide the rest of it. All right now, just take that and I can't see what I'm doing and just stamp like that. Okay, so it's hanging. And then we only need to do just a little bit. So I'm actually just gonna ink about two thirds of it. It's all gonna be covered up by my plant anyway, so I'm not gonna worry about it too much. But then just do like two little hanging parts right there, okay? All right, now you're gonna want, I wanted to add in some more foliage. Right, see, I just felt like it needed some more stuff in the back. So I dug through my dies and I pulled these out. These are the Timeless Arrangement, I believe is what they're called. Let me look at my list. Timeless Arrangement dies. If you don't have these, no worries. I'm sure you've got some kind of die that will create a sprig 
if you will, some kind of little sprig. And uh, that's all you need, okay? So I'm gonna actually cut these apart. If you have the bow punch, it is great too. We're gonna use that in the third project as well. And the last I looked, it was on low inventory. So if you want it, get it. It will probably not last because it's a popular one. All right, now let's start. Actually, let's do this first. I'm gonna take my adhesive and run it on the edge like that. And then I'm gonna get my plants and I just am gonna lay them down like this. And then I'm just gonna pick them up with the edge, that adhesive like that. Okay, like that. That one probably can come over just a bit like that. All right. I wish I could grow plants. I, oh, you know what? Put your dimensionals down low because we're gonna tuck those in and we need to leave room for them. I do not have a green thumb. I know some of you do. My mom does and I just, I don't know. I just, I, I don't know. I'm just not good at keeping plants alive and definitely not in my house. My daughters, my two oldest daughters have tried. My oldest daughter has done a good job. She's got a lot of live plants in her art studio. But my middle daughter, she bought a whole bunch of plants um, when we moved into the house and they all died. <laughs> and then they were all up there like rotting. And I was like, get those out of here, gross. Teenagers. All right, see how I'm tucking these back here? Just, just kind of giving us a little more dimension. No, Karen, no green thumb. I also feel like it has to do with where, well, for me, where I live. It is so hot here starting like May that it's really hard to keep things alive. And I always say, if the plant says um, full sun, do not plant something full sun here. That means full sun like north of here. But full sun here, you will absolutely fry it. But again, my mom lives here and she's able to grow things much better than me. So I don't know. Yeah, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Um, thanks, Gail. Cute, right? It's cute. That's it. I mean, that's pretty easy. Um, I am going to put some um, little dots, some little gems. Um, these are the festive pearls and they are gonna be gone. I, you know what, hey, I, yesterday, you guys know I record these videos the day before and put them on YouTube for just individual recordings for people who don't like Facebook Live. And I think I said in one of them that this was retiring the stamp set, and it's not. I was wrong. It's carrying over, right? I'm right, right? Because I looked it up today and it said, it did not say retiring. Okay, so there is that. Now, let's get our card. Can you guys hear that squeaking? Can you hear that? I think they're doing something outside my window. I think they're like a wheelbarrow or something that's going by. I don't know. Anyhow, that like distracted me. Okay, oh, gosh, I've got a bunch of these. I don't know how I ended up with so many. Pebbled Path card base. And we're gonna just cut off one inch from the front. I think it was just one inch. No, no, one and a, I better check. I think it's one and a, do, 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 hold please. It's three, so one and a fourth. We need to cut off one and a fourth. What am I doing? Now it's gonna be too short. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Because I screwed that up, we're gonna put the paper on it and then we're gonna cut the rest of it off. And I've lost my adhesive. Here it is, right here. Uh, you know what I was going to say. If it was a snake, it would have bit me, but I don't say that anymore. Um, we haven't had a snake. This is too big, too. We haven't had any snakes yet. Not yet. But they're out there, you guys. I told the guys, be careful. There's copperheads around here. And they just laughed at me. Like, yeah, okay, lady. All right, so there you go. Let's see how big this is. Three inches. You want that front panel to be three inches. And then we're gonna take our, this little, like it looks like a book print with some flicked gold on it. Put that right there. I did take the dogs to get their rattlesnake booster, their vaccine booster. So, oof, scary times. I don't like snakes, guys. Why can't they just go away? 
Um, Donna, what did I miss? I'm having a retreat at the end of the month featuring your... Oh, you are! Taco Fiesta. Well, themed Cinco de Mayo Taco Fiesta goes perfectly with that, for sure. Um, we have something here in San Antonio the last two weeks of April called Fiesta. And it's like a city holiday. The kids get off of school and everything on one of the days. And uh, my stamp set is perfect for Fiesta. Perfect. Okay, the sentiment. I forgot to tell you where that's coming from. Perennial postage. Love this stamp set. And we're going to stamp it in Versamark and emboss it in gold to match the gold on that paper. Um, I rubbed it with the embossing buddy. The embossing buddy comes in this little kit right here that you definitely want. If you're going to emboss, and oh, why did I close it? I haven't used it yet. You're definitely going to want that kit. It comes with the reverse tweezers, which mine are missing comes with one of the paint brushes and it comes with the embossing buddy and it really does help your embossing. All right, heat tool, just a few seconds. Yeah, the snakes, we have, we have a generator that keeps disconnecting from the internet, it keeps sending me messages. So I have to go out there like every other day to reconnect it and it's in the middle of all these like orangey rocks and they are exactly the color of a copperhead snake and every time I go out there I'm like I like pray like God please if there's a snake here make it go away I just know that in, when it's real hot in the summer I'm gonna find one over there Ugh, creepy creepy all right put this all the way to the edge because you want it to be mostly hidden by this and then we're gonna put this on with dimensionals. I'm most excited about these guys are working in our yard. They're gonna plant a whole bunch of yellow knockout roses. And my pool is themed, <laughs> if you can theme a pool, black and white striped, you know, like furniture, the, or the cushions, and then yellow, like, like yellow flowers. So I'm excited, I can't wait. Knockout roses, hopefully I won't kill surely I have those in the other house they they're easy you just leave them alone and they'll be fine okay last but not least linen thread famous last words right famous last words I told this guy he's he's done work for us for many years and I told him Benjamin you know I have to have something low maintenance that is hardy because I'm just not gonna I'm not gonna be able to keep it alive otherwise and he laughed so hopefully everything he's bringing We'll, we'll survive me <laughs> and the Texas summer. Okay, there you go, you guys. What do you think? Isn't this a cute card? Cute, easy, and you can consider that a fun fold, right? I mean, if you cut off part of the front, then it's a fun fold. <laughs> At least I do. I do. Okay, good. Thank you for the hearts, you guys. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, now let's see. Let me put all of this in the back and then we'll get the next card. Oh, I'm running out of room already. I'm always running out of room. Okay, now this, may, this next one is probably my favorite. Remember a few weeks ago when we did Filled With Fun and I said, you're probably gonna see this wagon again because I keep thinking of things to put in the wagon. Well, here we are, filled with fun. This is, I've made the wagon like a rusty garden wagon. You know, like sometimes you'll see an old wagon in a garden that has plants in it. So that's what this is. So we're gonna make a rusty wagon. It's cute, isn't it? Let's do that first. Let's do the wagon first. Um, you're gonna cut out, where did I put my square thread paper? I would much, no, let's use this because we're gonna do some flicking. Um, you need the little wagon dies. I think I have one here, so you can see. You guys probably already know, but if you didn't, if you haven't seen the Filled With Fun, you're gonna use this one, which is this one, this one, which is this one, and then the handle is this die right here, which you can't really see, that one. So that one's out of uh, Basic Black. These are Smoky Slate. You don't need a dimensional backing. Um, <laughs> two Basic Black wheels and two smoky slate hub caps okay so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to get my 
let's use Cajun Craze. Let's see if I use, I think I use Cajun Craze and Copper Clay together. I think I used both of them. I think I used one on one and the other on the other. So we're gonna go back to Cajun Craze. Little blending brush, you don't want it to be real dark, but you just wanna kinda wanna go around the edges. So, you know, get a lot of it off there on your grid paper like that. And actually, I did see yesterday, if you kind of just go oop like that, it does leave like a, like a hard dark stain, which normally we don't want, but for rust, it kind of looks kind of cool. All right, so just, you know, just, uh, you know, just whatever. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just rub some, some rust on your metal wagon and then get your copper clay or Cajun craze. And you know what's coming. We're gonna flick the ink brush tip. And you can see, I've done this a lot. It does start to fray your brush tip. To me, it's fine. I would rather do this and be able to do this and then, you know, replace my blends every now and then. I mean, copper clay is not really a color I even use that much. Um, so just know that if you do that flicking, it is gonna eventually, if you do a lot of it, it's gonna start to fray it a little bit. Now I'm gonna take and just dot, 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 dot some concentrated rust in certain areas. Cause you know, sometimes a rust grows like a big, it's like a blob of rust. Sometimes it's speckledy. Let's do some over here. And I'm just like dotting it, dot, 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 in a more concentrated way. Okay, so there we go, rusty wagon. Let's get these. I like to use these um, foam adhesive sheets, foam adhesive, Foam adhesive strips, excuse me, the strips, because they just fit on here perfectly. So just put that there and then get another one and put that one there. And we're gonna put that right there on our wagon like that. All right, now we're gonna, we're gonna glue this together on our, once we get it to the card, we'll add the other pieces, but we do wanna go ahead and glue on our our hubcaps. All right, there we go. Now we'll set that aside, give it a minute to just kind of, I mean, it's the ink is dry, but you know, it, it needs to dry a little bit more. All right, here are all the stamps that I'm gonna use for this card. Um, there's lots of different images in this set. I mean, there's a lot. So you can really just decide what you wanna do. Um, one thing I did tell you is that they're, these are reversible. So, um, let's do Mossy Meadow again. Some of them, I don't think you need to do a reversed, you know, you don't need to do the reverse like this one. And I don't know what this is, but I'm just calling it like a cattail. See like that. I mean, I don't, I mean, you could do the reverse, I guess, if you wanted the white lines to be a different color but I don't really think you need to. But on, an, on, a, on a stamp like this, you do want the reverse, maybe fill in, you don't have to, but something strange about this one is that the reverse is backwards. Like it doesn't really fit it exactly right. But I found that it was okay. It's kind of like an abstract and we're gonna cut it out anyway. So you flip it around on your block, stamp it off, and then just stamp there. See how it, it's going the other way, but it's okay. It's okay. All right, so we're gonna do three of those. And then um, what else are we gonna do? We're gonna do this one in garden green. Melanie, that's funny. You don't get any moisture in uh, in Arizona. Come on now. I'm sure you get some. Um, where is the other one? This one right here we're going to do in Granny Apple Green. And we're going to do this one twice. All right. So now 
Get your scissors, get your paper snips. I can hear the grumbling. Turn on the TV and they'll be cut out in no time, I promise. They will. And your card will be so cute that you'll say, you know, that Erica, she's right. Fussy cutting isn't so bad. I promise. All right. Um, pecan pie card base. Some of this beautiful nature sweetness. Designer series paper. Put that right in the middle. Then I have cut out this. This is a piece of pecan pie that looked like that, and then I ran this die through it. This is from the Everyday Detail dies. See how there's little dots on both sides? It almost looks like, um, it makes me think of a makeup mirror, like a stage mirror, you know, with all the lights around it. You're gonna have this, save that for later, use it for something else. But this is the piece that we're gonna use. So Everyday Detail dies, and they are in the new catalog. Every time I go to tell you guys something is in the new catalog, I suddenly panic and think, is that right? <laughs> so if I'm wrong, just know that I can't remember everything. I can't. I'm a mom. I have so much to think about. And there's so much, there's so much retiring and so much carrying over. I know, Michelle, I said that at the beginning, Taco Fiesta is gone. It was, it was, it had a good run. It did. All right, so let's put our wagon on first. And um, again, let's just use one of these. Um, you wanna put your dimensional low so that you can stuff those plants down in the, in the wagon. All right, so I'm gonna put that right kind of on the edge there. Mm, no, like, mm, like that. Is it in the center? Yes. All right, and then we will put our tires. We're just gonna glue them like right here. And then we'll put that right there. How many of you are gonna see the eclipse on Monday? Are you in the path of totality? Well, we are like, they have been talking about this thing for months down here. So excited. Well, now they're saying it's going to be very, very cloudy. <laughs> That's upsetting. Very cloudy all across Texas. <sighs> this will be the one time the weather guy's actually right, too. They're never right, ever. And this will be the time that they're right. The one time we don't want them to be right. All right, am I missing one of my... <clears throat> I am, so let's cut that out real quick. I can do it super fast. Indianapolis, yep. In Missouri, yeah. Um, Cindy, I think up there where you guys are, it's not supposed to be too cloudy. Al Roker said he's going to be in the Dallas area. I mean, what a, you know, superstars coming to <laughs> Dallas the superstar weatherman. Um, there's a, a city real close to me called Kerrville. It's a hill country town. And the Today Show is also sending, well, not today, NBC, I guess, is sending somebody there, um, a reporter there. And like like Kerrville, I think they said has 20,000 people and they're expecting like 100,000 people that day. It's gonna be crazy. I mean, I really wanna see it. Not, I don't wanna see it enough to drive somewhere like i mean it looks like we'd probably have to drive seven or eight hours maybe like towards arkansas patience i'm coming to your house not really i don't want to see it that bad i don't think but i am going to be disappointed see this front layer i'm going to put with dimensionals washington no y'all won't see any of it really nicole right not at all it's interesting to me I guess I don't understand how it all works, but it's interesting to me that, um, here, we'll leave that. I like that. How some in the United States can see it and some can't. I mean, I guess I get it. It's the path, but I don't know. It just seems like if I could see it, you should be able to see it too. It just speaks of how far we are from each other. All right, let's put on the handle. What do you guys think of this little rusty wagon? I think it's cute. I think it's pretty cute the handle what did i call it did i call it something else um 
Thanks, Kimberly. We're gonna put a little linen thread bow too. Well, the kids, my daughter, my two daughters that are in high school said that on Monday, it's gonna be like a huge waste of a day because they're gonna to go to their third period class for three hours. The school is giving everybody glasses. And to me as a mom, I'm like, oh, that sounds so fun. My oldest daughter is like in the National Honor Sci Science Society. They're gonna set up telescopes. And then my youngest daughter said it's gonna be like a free-for-all like of craziness that the kids are just gonna run around like crazy and it's gonna be miserable. And I was like, well, that does not sound fun. I'm trying to find another piece of cardstock because I used all of this. Wait a minute, can we use the back? Let's just use the back. Um, so, I mean, their, their school has like 4,000 kids. So that's a lot. I'm just hoping that it's not a crazy free for all running around because that would not be fun either for anybody. And, and my youngest said four of her teachers have already said they're not going to be there. They're taking the day off to watch it with their families. I'm like, ah, you know, okay, whatever. I don't know, whatever. Um, this is the stamp set that goes with the wagon. I am using this one that says, you make my heart bloom. If I was a teacher, what would I do? What would I, would I even consider taking the day off? Probably not. If I'm going to take a day off from work, I want to do something fun. <laughs> Either I'm really sick or I'm going to go do something fun like shopping or travel. I'm not just going to sit at home and wait for the, for the eclipse for three minutes and 30 seconds of an eclipse. I don't know. I guess maybe, maybe also the teachers are like, we are, that's going to be an awful day. The kids are going to be crazy. Keep your pets inside during the eclipse. Not good for their eyes either. Interesting, Melanie. Really? My dogs don't even look at the phone when I'm sh trying to show them the phone. I can't imagine them looking up <laughs> at the sun. They're so, they're not very intelligent. That's what I will say. Not, I won't say what I was going to say. I'll just say they're not the tar sharpest tools in the, the dog shed. Um, by the way, look what I'm doing to flag this. I'm going to cut, I'm going to do a little snip in the middle. And then you go from one corner and the other corner, you go up. I had um, many years ago when I was a brand new demonstrator, I went to a Stampin' Up! event and I saw a girl do that. And I was like, my mind was totally blown. I mean, it probably makes, it's like common sense. But to me, I was like, I can never cut those banners even. And she just showed me how. All right, we're gonna put that right there. You make my heart bloom. Now we have this piece of paper. My original, I didn't do anything on the inside, but I'm really trying to step up my inside of the card game. They go crazy after it's over. You know, I did hear this morning someone, well, now that I'm gonna say it out loud, it sounds silly, but somebody said that they noticed right before the earthquake that all the birds were hiding under the bushes. I don't know. Now that I say it, it sounds really dumb. But at the time, I was like, oh, that's very creepy. They knew it was coming. I'm just using all different greens, and I'm going to stamp randomly these plants. Nicole, how's the baby? Are we adjusting? How's mom? Is she doing okay? Boy, that newborn, those newborn days are tough. I just remember feeling like I was in a complete fog for like the first two months. Nicole, her daughter had a baby on Good Friday. So last week, he's a week old today. Very exciting. Little sweet baby with sweet little cheeks on him. So cute. Don't you guys remember the baby smell? The little sweet little smell for the most part. <laughs> oh. Animals do you know about earthquakes, Peggy? creepy everything is so quiet at first lois you mean at the on the eclipse or on the earthquake probably both i like all the videos that are coming out we had a weather day last monday and they're also having n no class on the eighth yeah a lot of districts around us have canceled school for the eclipse our school district is so big that it's hard for them to cancel school also they don't get money from the state if they don't have kids at the school so a lot of times they will have school no matter what, you know, because they got to collect that tax money. Okay, there we go. A rusty wagon to go in your garden. 
I just really think it's cute. When you were in Costa Rica, the birds made a big ruckus before an earthquake. Oh my gosh, how do they know? Do you think they can like hear it? Creepy, 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 creepy. An earthquake and an eclipse all in the same time. And they're saying there's a comet that you can see during the eclipse. I mean, I guess you can see it at night too. Um, survival of the fittest when it comes to livestock looking at the sun. Ooh, you guys are freaking me out. Maybe I do want it to rain. I don't know. That all sounds kind of creepy. <laughs> okay, one more. Let me grab it. All right, now, one of you, and I, I don't remember who it was, but one of you sent me a card in the fall that was like this. If it was you, tell us it was you. I don't know what this is called. Who knows? Does anybody know what this is called, this fun fold? It's like a fake envelope, and it opens like that. And I have saved that card and saved it and saved it and looked at it a 100 times. And finally, this week, we are going to make this cute, cute card. All right? Um, the sentiment this time is sweetly scripted, which was, at, is it called an envelope fold? Really? Envelope card, envelope flap card. It should have a better name. Come on, you guys. Think of something better. And we need to rename it. I don't like that. That's boring. Gotta be like a, like, you know, that flip flap card. I like that name. I'm trying to get my paper off this tray. I'm having trouble. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna do is get a piece of very vanilla. I'm doing very vanilla today on this card. And then you're gonna make a smaller card than your normal card. Where's my cut and emboss machine? Um, hold on, I've lost the plate. I had it on here and then I took it off. Where did it go? Just hold please. I took it off so that I could put my phone on there. Well, let me get another one. Hold on. Good thing I have two. Ah, oh, here it is. Okay. Oh, hello. I need to flip this number one, too. We're going to emboss the front. This card base is smaller than your normal card base. Um, it closes up so that it's four by five and a fourth, and then it's going to fit. Ooh, it looks like I cut it too short. Ah, this one's cut too short. Look at that. Should we cut a new one? Do you think it's going to work? This one is the right size. How did I cut that too short? Okay. We're gonna cut a new one. Hold on. Hold on just a second. Just one second. It has to be right. Otherwise, it's gonna look weird. Hold on just a second. I'm just cutting it over here. So you're gonna cut it five and a fourth by eight. Score it at four inches. Could you hear me? All right, see, it needs to be just a little bit bigger. So so that the front is five and a fourth by four, and it'll fit on there like that. Okay, now, back to what we were doing. I'm gonna go late today, you guys, I'm sorry. Um, we are using, now, can I find the folder? My gosh, here it is, exposed brick, love it, one of my favorites. Just put it on here, and you're just gonna, you're just gonna emboss the front, plate one and plate four, uh-oh. Uh-oh, hold on, hold on. Hold, please. Put that right there. I'm trying to rush now. So now I'm gonna make like 20 mistakes. Run that through. And then you've got just the front is embossed. Okay. Then, <laughs> where did the vanilla breeze go? There it is. Then you normally you think your card's gonna open like that. Well, we're gonna turn it so that your card opens like this, okay? Um, and then we're gonna put adhesive on the back. Envelope flap card seems, let's see, triangle tuck fold or triangle envelope tuck fold. I like that, Melanie. That's a good one. That sounds more official. Envelope triangle tuck fold. Let's go with that. Triangle tuck fold. All right, now I put it in there and I shouldn't have done that already. Man, I'm all over the place. You're gonna need a piece of, before you do this, oh, see what happens when I try to rush? Let's see, can we get it off? Okay. You're gonna get a piece of this gorgeous designer series paper that is three and a half by three and a half, and I feel like this is too big too. Let's check it. Three and a half, it's way too big. Yep, three and a half by three and a half. 
Is this three and a half or is that three and a half? I cannot tell on this trimmer. All right, well, we're going with it. Don't you hate when a trimmer doesn't have, you know, like it has the lines and you can't tell? Like label them, come on guys. All right, fold it corner to corner. It looks like it's not gonna fit. It's a little bit too small. I don't know what I'm doing today. Whatever. My measurements were, were right yesterday, today, everything is wrong. Whatever, it'll be fine, nobody cares. All right, we're gonna fold this down and we're gonna adhere it on the back. Now, let's add some more adhesive like that. Let's close it and put it down on here. Just refer to the PDF for Erica's correct measurements because apparently she is making a mess of things today. Now, we've got this long skinny strip of very vanilla and I have a stamp somewhere right here. We'll do Cajun Craze. And any of the stamps in this, like happy birthday, I really like that one. They will work. They're all about the same length. So you can do this with them, right? And then we're gonna adhere this across. New Stamper Rewards, when will it start? Denise, I am not totally sure um, when it's gonna start. They haven't told us. Um, the New Stamper Rewards, you're gonna earn 10% on every order that you place. So instead of um, having to get to the $150 threshold, every order you place over $20, you're gonna earn 10% in Stampin' Rewards. And they will, they will build up in your, within your Stampin' Up! online Stampin' Up! account. So then you can redeem them at any time. So let's say you spent $100 and you collect 10, the next order you can apply that $10 off your next order. As far as when, I have no idea. They have, they have not given us a firm date on that yet. I think they're still trying to work out all the details. It'll be good. I think it'll be good. DSP is three and a half. It is three and a half by three and a half. Yesterday, I on the video, I stopped because my paper was wrong and I went and measured it. This one, oh no, you have to, not corner to corner, you measure it like this. So yeah, three and a half by three and a half. I don't know what happened over there. I probably cut it three and a fourth by three and a fourth because I can't read the dang ruler on the trimmer. So three and a half by three and a half is correct. All right, three of these pots in Cajun Craze, okay? And then we're gonna do, let's bring over Mossy Meadow and we're gonna do, do I have this on the right? Okay, I don't wanna stamp the back of it. We're gonna do two of these in solid and then I think this is the one I have on the back yes one of these like that and then the little weird cattail looking ones I'm gonna stamp them in full strength uh, mossy meadow and then stamp again okay and do that twice because I think having four sets are better than two sets okay all right now, you're gonna cut them out. I have them all cut out right here. Oh, let me show you. We're gonna flick color onto these guys as well. So, you don't wanna flick color onto your pots. So, I'm just gonna cut this like this. I kinda overlapped a bit there. And we're gonna flick Old Olive, either Dark Old Olive or Dark Mossy Meadow on those two, okay? So we've got those. I've already got them cut out all right here. The other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use that bow punch. It looks like this. And you're gonna cut punch it from old olive. We're not gonna use all of these. Punch it twice from old olive and from mossy meadow. And I wanted these to look like the house plants, and you guys will know the names. I don't know the names. The house plants that have white spots on them. Is it called variegated when they're like that? 
So we're gonna line all of these up like this. We'll flick some of this ink on. And then we're gonna get our, you know what's coming, right? Craft White and your water painter. Uh-oh, I am almost out. I need to order some more. Okay. Get some water. Please don't spill. Please don't spill. And get that. And then we're just going to flick some white. The more... Oh, look. <laughs> I'm flicking white everywhere. Of course I am. The more water you have, the more opaque the spots will be. Okay, you can get something like this. This probably works better. Um, come on, I want some spots up top. There we go. All right, and then let that dry. Give that a little bit of time to dry. Look what I did right there. Let's see, where's my chamois? We'll just wipe that off of the chamois. I don't have my other, my little chamois. All right, there we go. Now, let's put the other ones together. I'm probably not gonna give that other one enough time to dry, but we're gonna do our best. All right, we've got our three pots. Let's save that one for later. I'm gonna put my adhesive on here like this. I'm gonna start with my splotted, splotched more vanilla leaf, and then put these other two on either side of it. This reminds me of uh, Seymour. What was that movie? Little Shop of Horrors. That's what this plant reminds me of. I don't know, just something about it. All right, and then we're gonna get, oh no, do we put it on this one? We're gonna get this one, put some adhesive here, and we'll do our little like cattails. I'm gonna kind of do, oh, I only have two sets cut out, so we'll just do two sets on this. All right. Oh no, there's another one. We've got another set. We'll put this one kind of back here in the middle like that. Okay, now let's see. These are definitely not dry. Let me get my uh, heat tool. See if we can speed them up a little bit. Ah, it's stuck. Hold on. What? Don't blow away. I should have done these ahead of time. All right, well, that's good enough. Sometimes good enough is better than perfect. <laughs> that's my motto. It's good enough. All right, let's put a lot of adhesive. We're going to start with one of the little ones in the front. And then I'm going to take a dark one and a dark one like that. And let's add the other one because I like the splotches on that one right there. Ah, I've made a mess. All right. Just imagine how it will look when it's dry and not smeared with my fingers. It'll be so cute. Now, we're gonna put a plant here that's gonna hold our little envelope flap um, down. But you've gotta make sure that your dimensional is low enough that your little envelope corner isn't gonna be stuck to it. And this is the one that's going in the middle. Man, I made a mess of that. Oh, well. Oh, well. I'll fix it after you guys are gone. All right. And then these two go here and here. Actually, I'm going to put these behind like, like that. And like that. I really like these dark greens with the pecan pie. This one is just really bothering me. I don't know, there's a little like a trim. Let me trim this just a bit. I mean, the, the leaves are all smeared and they're not dry, but oh well. All right, there we go. And then, okay, so make sure that that can go under. We're gonna add a bow. This time we're not using linen thread, we're gonna use this center stripe ribbon, pecan pie, and very vanilla. This is why I used very vanilla on this card, because I wanted to use this ribbon. All right, and then snip, snip. Glue 
glue dot. Glue dot right here, and we're gonna put that right. Oh, good, look, I'm gonna cover that up so you can't even see it that it that I smeared it. All right, inside, what did I do inside? The same thing that we did on the other one. If I have my paper still sitting here, I don't wanna use that red paper because now it's very wet with white ink. But let's do, let's just do Mossy Meadow all the way across. If I can find it. Do you guys see it? Is it sitting here? Here it is, over here. All right, just do your plants across the bottom like this. One, we'll do two, some leaves like this. And then there's a little leaf too that I haven't really used. We'll put that one in there like that. Let's add this one again like that. And what can we fit in there? Oh, we haven't used this one like that, okay? and put that inside and gosh they are just everywhere these dimensional backings everywhere and put that right there and tuck in your what did we call it a triangle what did we call it i have to look back triangle flap card melanie what do we call it triangle tuck fold there's your triangle tuck fold card super cute Thank you so much, whoever sent me that card in the fall. I loved it, I saved it, and I'm so glad that I had it to make this card. Here, let's look at this one. This one's so much better. All right, that's it for me, you guys. I hope you liked today's projects. I hope they this inspired you to look at, to give this stamp set a look. I, I feel like it's kind of underrated. I know in my mind, I was like, eh, it's okay, it's cute, you know, whatever. But paired with this paper and... uh you know, these colors, I just really, really like it. Now, I had a card yesterday on my blog, hopefully you saw it, this beautiful card, more spring colors, um, the um, Azure Afternoon, Bubble Bath, and Granny Apple Green, and Lemon Lime Twist. Isn't that cute in that paper? That something eclectic, or delightfully eclectic. And then Monday's card is pink also, and it uses that big pot. Isn't that cute? A little bit of pink on the inside. So that one will be on Monday. Okay, that is it for me, you guys. I hope those of you in the eclipse path have lovely weather, and I hope there's no more earthquakes this weekend. Otherwise, it will give us something to talk about next week. Um, but I will see you guys next week with three cutest cows projects, okay? Oh, and don't forget, Tuesday is the day that the uh, last chance discounts take effect. I will send you guys an email to remind you, okay? All right, have a great weekend, guys. Thanks for joining me. Bye.